Gonna close my eyes Girl, and watch you go Running through this life, darling Like a field of snow As the tracer I teach at Mount Carmel Holy Rosary School, which is a Catholic school. I teach at PS 155, which is in East Harlem. I teach at PS 68. I teach third, fourth, and fifth grade. And I teach at St. Anne's in Harlem. I teach fifth, sixth, seventh, and eighth. One, two, ready, go! I don't know the kids all that well yet, and um, I don't know the stories behind a lot of them, but um, you can tell that a lot of them are coming from places where they have no structure, they're, they have no ability to focus. Um, some of these kids have severe drug and alcohol abuse at home by their parents. Some of these kids are abusing on their own. Um, already by fifth grade. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's a tough thing to learn to, for me to figure out how to deal with that. It's not me up there, it's you. So if you want to look like you don't have it together, then that's up to you. I worry about being able to maintain control of the class. I mean, they're, they're teenagers and, and they can get rowdy. I remember what it was like, so. I mean, I feel so frazzled. I mean, I, I, I don't know. Um, I feel a little overwhelmed. I already feel my voice is kind of sore. And I feel like, I think also like my energy level is just down. For the kids, I want to... I, I want to see what they're capable of. What I want them to do is to feel proud. I want them to know what it is to work hard. Because I think some of the kids maybe don't know what it is to like stick to something and work hard. And also to like be really bad and then get good. My, my biggest lesson for myself was the first day of school when I just realized that these kids are just like any other kids. Um, because so much is built up um, in the media, with politicians, you know, with people talking that, you know, all these kids have issues and they're, you know, low test scores and, you know, they're always beating each other up. And, and that's true to a certain extent. But the fact of the matter is that they respond to the same thing every kid responds and they're just kids. Um, I think that's why also I was drawn to music because there's no words, but you can express yourself and it's a safe haven. And I see that a lot with my kids. I see that a lot, how much music soothes them. It gives them a space to express themselves. 